Now with America's favorite doctor, Dr. Jan, and she's looking at a pretty alarming statistic. U.S. suicides hit an all-time high last year. You guys, just under 50,000 Americans died by suicide last year. That is thought to be the highest rate since the dawn of World War II. Um, and, you know, you guys know that I lost my ex-husband to suicide in 2017. Um, he was a physician. There are certain groups at higher risk than others, veterans, physicians, um, LGBTQ youth. Youth. What we do know is that we have got to reverse this trend before someone becomes a statistic. And we also know that the people who die by suicide leave behind an incredibly uh, significant wake of trauma and grief. For every suicide death, it's estimated that 135 people are directly affected. If you do that math, that's over six and a half million mm -hmm. Americans every single year who are personally affected by a suicide death of a loved one. So, you know, just as we prioritize, you know, cardiac health and cancer prevention, we need to start thinking about mental health in the same way. And you've been a voice for the families that have been left behind. I know it hasn't been easy, but you've been making sure that you speak up. I mean, I think that's our mission, my children and I, but you know, we oftentimes say, just as we teach kids, if you see a burning building, call 911, now we have to teach them to call the suicide text line. And if you're experiencing suicidal thoughts, substance use, or other mental health crises, please call or text the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can reach a trained crisis counselor for free, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also go to 988lifeline. Org. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.